thank you for uh, coming to York Regional Police Headquarters this morning. It's absolutely uh, delightful to see uh, so many members of the ethnic community here today. As Chief Jolliffe said, we're here to launch the Ethnic Media Outreach Program in partnership with Investigative Services Community Advisory Council. This is a council that's uh, made up of a number of very concerned and very dedicated members of the community, and we meet quarterly in uh, York Regional Police and discuss matters that are particularly important to their communities. These templates, uh, as you can see on the easels today, are in a number of different languages. We have uh, Chinese and Russian as well as uh, English. The, the template artwork has been uh, prepared by our corporate communications branch and that's where we base all the media messaging from at York Regional Police. So as you can see, the language has changed but the message is clearly the same. What we hope to do with the, uh, this program is reach every corner and every community in York Region. In a, in a language and in a, with a cultural flair that everyone will understand. Our media partners are uh, gracious enough to provide translation for the text uh, for their particular publication and run the uh, community information pieces on a bi-weekly basis. Uh, I've noticed this morning that after conversation with Igor Tuchinsky, the Russian media uh, group, that they've already published their first um, their first uh, first media piece and this uh, is in Russian in Russian language and it's essentially one of the core functions of police and that's to respond to emergencies. So this one targets uh, the 911 call feature uh, on everyone's telephone and how we respond to and how to reach uh, York Regional Police. Others include um, that will come out in subsequent issues, uh, extremism threats, um, drug information, uh, domestic violence, fraud, human trafficking, guns and gangs and victim services, just to name a few. Uh, we expect at least 20 to roll out from investigative services and if it's a success, um, we'll continue with, with other areas of um, York Regional Police. I'd like to thank all members of Investigative Services Community Advisory Council for the dedication and innovative thinking that brought this program to life. In particular, uh, co-chair Aubrey Zeidenberg, Russian Broadcasting uh, Editor-in-Chief Igor Tuchinsky in the front row here. Uh, Today Daily News Publisher Herbert Moon, sitting in the back of the, uh, the gallery here, and uh, Q Rizavandar, publisher of the Persian Tribune, up front. They served uh, on a small subcommittee that assisted us in getting this program together and uh, launching it today. We're grateful for your ongoing assistance. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you, Superintendent. Last year, following numerous meetings with Chief Jolliffe and the Investigative Services Branch of the York Regional Police, it was decided to structure a brand new concept in police community relations. Working in conjunction with York Regional Police Investigative Services, we structured the Investigative Services Community Advisory Council known as ISCAC. The main goal of the Investigative Services Community Advisory Council is to reduce crime through community partnerships, ultimately raising the quality of life in York Region by improving personal safety and ensuring a sense of security in the everyday lives of our citizens. The ISCAC is a partnership with York Regional Police, it develops and implements programs aimed at raising awareness of crime among our citizens through local partnerships. Members also provide counsel to investigative services about community concerns. The ISCAC is comprised of a broad range of representatives from private, public, and diverse community sectors in and around York Region. The goal of the community is to be a community, the, the goal of the council is to be a community-led, police-supported voice with investigative services staff. As a result of our council members' deep involvement in community, it is our hopes that they will bring a whole new dimension to the investigative process and sharing of information. We meet on a regular basis where we discuss crime trends and patterns and work together towards proactive solutions. Considering the diverse multicultural and multi-religious backgrounds of York Region residents and knowing that police, military, and government are viewed very differently by citizens who have come from all parts of the world, it is important to ensure that our relationships are strong with each and every one of them to maximize the flow of important investigative information to the York Regional Police. The answers to all crimes are out there somewhere. We need to increase the flow of that information to assist our officers. 
We believe broader community involvement is necessary to ensure that York Region remains the best place in the world to live and raise a family. Thank you to all of you for coming out this morning to uh, assist us in getting the message out on the street. Much appreciated. Good morning one and all and thank you for joining us at our regional headquarters here in Aurora. And I am uh, very, very pleased on behalf of our entire command and the almost 2,200 dedicated and hardworking members of York Regional Police to announce the launch of our Ethnic Media Outreach Program. It's uh, unique, it's a very unique innovation of our Investigative Services Community Advisory Committee chaired by Dr. Aubrey Zeidenberg, led by Superintendent Bill Sadler, uh, and is a great opportunity for us to again continue our work and outreaching into our communities. This advisory committee was created in 2013 to develop more effective relationships between the police and the York Region's diverse communities. The focus has been to increase the flow of important information at a grassroots level to assist members of our investigative services who investigate major crimes like homicide, domestic violence, crimes against children, organized crime, and drug-related occurrences. We hope that the Ethnic Media Outreach Program will prove to be one important step in connecting with residents in all of our communities. We want the community to be more aware of suspicious activities and potential crimes that may be taking place in their neighborhoods. And we want to ensure they know how to report to police if they do see something that doesn't seem quite right. Through the generous participation of our valued partners in the ethnic media, the community information pieces that you see displayed here will soon be appearing in the pages of many ethnic publications free of charge. We are also working with our broadcast partners on a generic video of York Regional Police images where we hope they can be run with similar messaging in the future. And it's our commitment to ensure all members of our community receive important law enforcement and crime prevention information. This is especially important for those residents who aren't reading or watching traditional media. The forefather of modern day policing, Sir Robert Peel, said, the police are the public and the public are the police. The police being only members of public who are paid to give full-time attention to duties which are encumbered on every citizen in the interest of community welfare and existence. The community-minded members of the York Regional Police are proud that York Region remains one of the safest communities in Canada, but we know we can't be that successful without you. With this initiative, we hope to engage members of the public, those citizens who can trace their ancestries back to all corners of the globe. York Regional Police is a proven leader in our innovative community programming, and in that innovation, we acknowledge that diversity is our strength. The Ethnic Media Outreach Program is one more important initiative allowing us to build bridges and strengthen our partnerships and of course to make a difference in our community. Deed speak. In this region, quite frankly, York Region is the most diverse community in Canada. So having said that, we know that it's very important for us to reach into our communities to help us do our job every single day. And uh, as I quoted earlier, uh, the uh, father of the uh, forefather of modern policing, Sir Robert Peel, has always said, the police are the public and the public are the police. So we need our communities 
to to uh, advise us, engage us when crime is occurring. So this initiative is to build that trust and confidence in communities so they feel comfortable coming forward, reporting when they see something they don't feel is correct. Translation for Russia and Russia. So we are uh, they're currently building on a number of other um, uh, languages across the region. There are almost 70 or 80 different languages spoken in the York region. So uh, we're beginning with uh, Cantonese and Mandarin and Russian and Urdu and Farsi and, uh, and uh, Persian languages. That's what we're currently working on, uh, but continuing to, uh, to broaden our base. That's what we hope you will get the message out so that we'll have other uh, community groups coming forward to say, hey, look, please include us too. So what are some of the members from your uh, community who are actually uh, giving you advice on what to do? So we got some pretty uh, outstanding individuals actually uh, on our committee. Uh, you've uh, heard me introduce uh, Dr. A, uh, Aubrey Zeidenberg. Uh, he has uh, been living in York Region for a long period of time, has advised us as a police service on uh, many projects that we have done. Uh, behind you is uh, standing is uh, Herbert Moon. Everyone I think knows Herbert Moon and uh, I think you know how prominent that individual is in, in, in our community in York Region and the work that he does uh, in his profession. So uh, we are supported by some very, very strong candidate individuals who are able to uh, advise our investigative working group uh, on on trends that they see and things they hear in the community. So what kind of resources you guys put into doing this? You know, so, you know, the, the committee, this is the brainchild of this, of this committee. I think it's very unique. I think you'll find it a very unique program across, uh, quite frankly, across the country. Even the notion of having an investigative services advisory, community advisory committee is unique in itself in our industry. So uh, this project uh, has really uh, been a great launching pad for that group to ensure that uh, we are communicating to all our ethnic groups and communities in York Region to ensure that they are uh, advised of what is happening and vice versa though it's very important for the police service to remain for this community to remain one of the safest communities in Canada we require the help of our community to do that also uh, so there'll be as you can see here this one was just released today so this uh, you know right this is uh, in the Russian newspaper so uh, this was just published today. So this was very so cool. So no, these so these are not paid. This is a, a, a generous uh, donation of the uh, the newspaper group that's actually publishing that, which is very kind, right? So this is a very unique opportunity for. For, uh, for the police service to work in partnership with our uh, different ethnic newspaper groups. Uh, and uh, uh, great opportunities, as I said, to, to be able to communicate to our communities in the language that they, their first language of choice.